It's been 618 days since I lost my husband. Christine Jameson's firefighter husband, Kyle, died of an aggressive cancer in 2016. He was just 33 years old. Now she's joining an effort to cover cancer for New Hampshire firefighters under workers' compensation. This bill will have no effect on my family, but I would do anything to prevent the next wife who loses her husband to fire-related cancer from having to live the nightmare that I have. Over the last decade, a growing body of research has proven a deadly link between firefighting and cancer risk, the toll of repeated exposure to toxic smoke. The data is stronger than it's ever been that there are specific cancers that are linked to firefighting. Union officials say cancer is a compensable claim in 34 other states and firefighters here deserve the same protections. Oh, it's our it's our top priority legislatively. I think uh, you ask any firefighter and they'll tell you that uh, they know that this is uh, an issue not just here in New Hampshire, but nationwide. New Hampshire passed a very similar bill in the 1980s and it was signed into law by then Governor John Sununu but it was struck down as an unfunded mandate to the cities and towns. This time around, that pitfall is being avoided with a new funding source. The fund will be created with an insurance charge of just over a penny a day on policies in New Hampshire. A penny a day, a little over that. You think about that, to help firefighters, to help people who are developing disease based on protecting us. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.